What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Bar Fly. Today we're gonna be doing a rum and cola from Blacktail, New York City. Uh, Blacktail is a bar that is owned by Jesse Muldoon and Jack McGarry, the two guys that opened the Dead Rabbit. Uh, the Dead Rabbit has had like crowds upon crowds of people since it opened in 2013, and they decided they wanted to do like a Cuban themed bar, uh, and this is exactly what it is. So the bar is supposed to evoke, is there our lights falling apart or? Should I be afraid that something's going to fall on my head, Mary? That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, so the bar, Blacktail, is supposed to evoke that era in the pre-revolution Cuban days where uh, the rich and powerful and wealthy celebrities were flying down to Cuba to get a legal drink during Prohibition. Um, and they did a really good job. I mean, just take a look at this bar build out. It is beautiful. It is an absolute beautiful bar. Uh, Today we're going to be making their, their rum and cola cocktail recipe. This cocktail recipe was put together by, or created by Jesse Vita, which is the head bartender at Blacktail, and Jillian Vos, who, is, who was, I don't know, if she, maybe she's got another title, but at, as far as I know, she's the program director over at the Dead Rabbit, the sister bar. Um, this is a brilliant reconstruction, or actually basically a deconstruction, kind of an old, it's basically taking a rum and coke and giving it the old fashioned treatment. It is really, really great drink. I think you guys are really going to like it. Let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to take, uh, we're going to do one dash of Orinoco bitters. Orinoco bitters was, is the bitters uh, that was made specifically for the dead rabbit. It is easily found online. Uh, link is below. Uh, so definitely get that. It's pretty easy. You can get it on Amazon. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take three quarters of an ounce of uh, cola uh, reduction. So basically what I did is I took Mexican Coke and I reduced it to one sixth its size and basically made a, um, and make a reduction out of it. It's pretty easy to do. You just put it over a stove over low heat and you just reduce it and reduce it and reduce it until you've got that syrup. Uh, question from our viewers, well, how long does it last in the fridge? Oh yeah, actually somebody did ask me. The, so cola syrup will last indefinitely. It's basically just boiled down sugar. So it will last forever, pretty much. Uh, it doesn't go bad. Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some Fernet Branca, which I think is a brilliant stroke because it's kind of playing on the lovely combination of Coke and Fernet. And we're just gonna do one teaspoon. And then because it is a Cuban bar. We're gonna be doing Cuban rum. So we're gonna take this uh, Havana Club three year and we're gonna do one ounce of Havana Club three year. Um, now, if you don't have Cuban rum on hand, Blacktail actually has a recipe for their own rum blend. Uh, I put the recipe below, you can check it out. I didn't make it here because from what I hear, Kanye Brava is going to be no more. So pretty soon the 86 company is going to stop making Kanye Brava. So they're going to have to rejigger that recipe to fill that void. Uh, but it is below and it is still available. So you can make the black tail Cuban rum blend if you like. All right, then we're going to take our big rag of ice. That's been nicely tempering here. And we're going to stir it just like an old fashioned. Just put our ice in there and we get a nice stir. What's nice about using tempered ice is that when you put it inside the spirits, it will not crack as opposed to something that you just take out of the freezer, put it in the spirits, and it stands a very high risk of cracking. Okay, give it a nice stir. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pop open the champagne. So this is the other thing, it just adds a little bit of sugar and a nice bit of dryness to this cocktail uh, and gives it good effervescence. I'm gonna pop it open and then we're gonna pour no more than four ounces, but we're just gonna say top it up with champagne. And then last but not least, we're gonna give it a nice lemon twist. Give a nice spritz on the top, put it around the glass like I like to do, or don't if you're against that. Let's take a sip. Yeah. Maris is laughing at me for some reason, but yeah, it's just, it's nicely balanced, really dry, kind of tart. Um, you can get those cola notes. Obviously the rum is giving it some alcohol. It 
That is really brilliant. So it's like you get the Fernet, you get the Coke, and you get the, you know, the rum is kind of given in its alcohol. Uh, but then you've got the champagne. The champagne kind of dominate. Well, it's, I wouldn't say it dominates the flavor profile because basically it just melds with the other flavors so well. You can taste the Fernet, that bitterness on the back. It's not too sweet. It's very dry, a little bit sweet. And then you've got the lemon pop on the top of it. It's really, really brilliant. Very interesting and very imaginative reconstruction of a rum and cola. This is definitely something that's easy to drink. It's like an old fashioned style. It's not overly boozy. It's not overly champagne. It is a beautiful cocktail. Um, uh, I don't know what more to say other than that. Next time you guys are in New York City, you need to go to Blacktail. And if you don't order this, just order a bunch of drinks. There is a slight possibility that Marius and I will be going to New York pretty soon. And when we do, you bet your bottom dollar that we're going to be doing a bar crawl. And we're going to be going to Blacktail and all the other bars that I have been missing out on for so long. Uh, a lot of the ones that have um, provided me with the inspiration for this channel. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to force Marius to document all of it, put music to it, and share it with you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for that. We've got a little bit of new content coming up pretty soon. And uh, if it if there is some stuff that's been trickling out, but it's going to trickle out more and more. And so I hope you guys really enjoy that new content. Uh, we will continue to do our tutorials, but we're going to be doing that new content as well. And I hope you enjoy it. We're going to be traveling and doing some fun stuff. And we want to share all that stuff with you guys uh, so that you guys can drink better. That's what this is all about. That's what the that's what the tagline to the show has been from the beginning is to just be able to drink better. It makes me want to sing a song about it. I don't know what that song would be, whether it's just like, uh, uh, I just making me feel musical. I don't know. All right, guys, I will, what, what Marius, Marius, yes. I, I was going to go on a brilliant tangent now and you ruined it. What? So you're going to blame me for that? Uh, what was the, the one that's going to get discontinued? Oh, Kanye Brava. So the 86 company uh, makes a rum called Kanye Brava and it is in Blacktail's um, rum blend recipe. Right. Yeah. So the 86 company is going to 86 the Kanye Brava? Yes. I just learned about the 86. Yeah, you learned about the 86 like two days ago. Yeah. And then you, but yes, the 86 company is going to 86 Kanye Brava. That's true. I never actually thought about that until you pointed it out. But you like to point out these little, I don't know what you would call them. What would you call that? These little, just these funny little details that nobody else really thinks about or cares about. Observations. <laughs> Observations. Deep thoughts. Deep thoughts with Marius. <laughs> Do you remember that from uh, Saturday Night Live? Did they have Deep Thoughts with Marius on Saturday Night Live? No, they had, a, they had a show called, they had like a little segment called Deep Thoughts, and it would just be like a scrolling list of non sequiturs. Those sketches just keep going and going and going. And Wait, what? Oh, those sketches? Yeah. I know, they never end. That's the brilliance of Saturday Night Live. That's why people it watch it. Thing? I mean, I don't know. I don't watch it anymore, no, so I couldn't tell you. Literally, the only Saturday Night Live I ever watched was Eddie Murphy, like Best Of, or John Candy Best Of, or Bill Murray Best Of. I never actually sat down religiously to watch that in life for any reason. But I'm assuming it's funny. It's been on for a very long time. Like 40 years. At least since the 70s, right? So it's a long time. You were going to say something brilliant? You said? I forgot. You got me on this Saturday Night Live tangent and I forgot. All right. Well, I guess that's it, guys. So if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Marius, for some odd reason, why did you think that you needed to... It seemed like you were going to forget it. But I was in the process of saying it. I wouldn't know. All right. If you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. And uh, definitely hit the bell icon to get notifications when we post our episodes. That would be very good for you. And it would be good for us. And it would be good for everybody. So just do it. Just do it. And also check us out on Patreon. Uh, we've got some awesome exclusive content hitting Patreon. So go to patreon.com slash the educated barfly. Check out our t-shirts. We've got t-shirts on Teespring. I think it's teespring.com slash the educated barfly. We, they're awesome. Marius made a really uh, weird t-shirt where it's basically the barfly logo inside the Jurassic Park logo. It's like a uh, pop culture reference, the Jurassic Park for some odd reason. I don't know. We better shoot this thumbnail before this thing dies. Uh, so uh, yes, check out our uh, teespring and get some t-shirts if you want to. And I will see you guys on the next video.